Okay, let's look at example 6. So, example 6 dia bagi tahu calculate the percentage of HF molecule ionized in 0.1 m HF given Ke kita 6.8 exponent negative 4. Okay, so ionized ni uh, dia sama lah juga dengan dissociation which we have learned in 6.2. Okay, so Miss Tulis dia kat sini what is the formula of dissociation? Is the concentration change bagi initial times 100%. So, dalam kes ni Uh, kita akan cari untuk HF lah. Okay. So, sekarang ni I'm just going to write down the equation. Okay, HF is an acid which will donate the punya H+. Okay, so what we, got, what we have left is F minus equals plus dengan H3O plus. Sebab yang H ni dah donate kepada H2O. Okay. So, I'm just going to insert the value. Okay, kalau water memang tidak adalah liquid. Okay, produk ni. Okay, sama je. Okay, so right now I'm going to write down my Ka. Okay, so uh, Ka kita adalah 6.8 exponent negative 4. Okay, so Ka adalah... Okay. Sekarang ni Ka kita adalah 6.8 exponent negative 4. Masukkan value of X. Sebenarnya kita memang nak cari X sahaja sebab nak tahu our change. Okay, tapi kali ni kita tengok Ka kita is exponent negative 4. So kan kita selalu guna yang previous example. Very small. So kita akan ignore. So yang ni tak boleh sebab dia adalah negative 4. So kita akan buat sama juga. Like how we did in chapter 6. So kita ambil. Then, uh, so Miss akan expand. Okay. And then yang ini, Miss dah rearrange juga. I have expand uh, the equation. Uh, I have expand the equation as well as rearrange. Okay, so dekat sini I will get my X. Okay. Uh, and then, okay. Kita akan ignore the negative value. Okay. Sebab why? Walaupun dia ada negative dalam table tu. Tapi sebenarnya concentration will always be positive. Sebab kan kalau tidak. Kalau concentration product kamu letak um, minus value. Nanti product kamu jadi tak ada. It's only negative value. Which is concentration tidak ada negative value. So ataupun yang ini mesti terus buat jadi macam shortcut. Baliklah kalau apa yang kamu ingat. I have explained to you. To the degree of dissociation. X must be positive value. So, kita akan ambil 7.913. Masukkan sahaja in the formula. Okay. So, yang ini tapi mi spesifikkan juga change tu adalah change of apa? Of my HF. Dengan what is my change of initial? Uh, initial tu pun HF. So, yang ini mis masukkan. I'm, I'm only gonna substitute my value. So, sama jugalah di dissociation ataupun ionization. So, tapi kat sini Miss akan tulis that soalan minta ionization kan. So, I'm just going to write down ionization. Okay. So, we will get the answer is equal to 7.91%. Sebab dia kata percentage kan. So, that's why we're going to um, apa ni, times 100. So, that is the solution for question C. It's called ionization sama lah dengan dissociation. And that is our Formula. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at question number 8. So, dia bagi dekat sini concentration of solution. And dia bagi tahu sini has undergone 3.7 ionization. Calculate Ka. So, kali ni dia bagi degree of ionization. Minta Ka. Okay, but first what I'm going to do adalah I'm going to write down the equation lah. Which, uh, the solution is an IC which will donate dia punya H+. Okay. So, kita tulis dia dulu. Uh, dia akan jadi HCO. Uh, oops. Kita akan tahu dia akan dengan water. Lepas tu, sebab dia donate H+. What we have left adalah tinggal what it's left kena ada minus sign. Okay. And then, pluskan dengan Sebab H2O sudah accept, kita punya H plus, so dia akan jadi plus H3O plus equals. Okay, 
So, I do have my concentration. Okay, H2O is not included. Okay. So, now kita boleh cari Ka. So, what is Ka? Is the concentration of product divided by the concentration of your reactant. Okay. Tapi sekarang ni, given the key A, um, apa ni, what do you call that? We do not have the value. So, kita hanya ada X, X, X sahaja. So, kita tengok kan, semua hanya ada X, X, 0.1 minus X. So, kita tak boleh cari. So, kita akan, so what is actually, um, apa ni, how to find it? Kita akan guna the ionization. Okay, so, uh, if you still remember, uh, mestilah kena ingat lah from your question 6 and 7. So, the degree of the ionization, which is your reactant lah. Degree of the ionization mesti your reactant. Okay, and then yang ini your initial times 100. So, kita tahu dia adalah 3.7%. Uh, Tapi, yang change ni, X bagi dengan initial kita 0 0.01. Okay. Tapi dekat sini, I'm going to rearrange terus dekat sini lah. Sebab tak cukup ruang kan kat sini. Tak cukup ah ruang. So, this buat terus. So, my X would be. Okay, so kita dah dapat dah kita punya X. So, we know that X is actually equal to the concentration of our product. So, misalnya kat sini, H2O plus dengan our conjugate base is equal to, okay, what is our X? Okay. So, this is only our product. Macam mana pula dengan reactant? So, untuk reactant, okay, so kita tulis dulu, which is reactant tu is our acid lah kan? So, 0 0.01 minus X. So, we get, okay, so tolakkan saja the value Okay, so sekarang ni kita dah ada dah all the value boleh kita terus cari kita punya Ka. So misalkan substitute kan all the values in there. So boleh je again boleh je buat square terus yang ini so mesti sengaja je buat one by one so to make it clear. So this is my key. Okay, so that is the solution for question number 8. So, dia dah ada key A ni. Ha, macam nak cari, dia bagi hint kat sini adalah the degree of ionization. So, yang ni lain sikit lah. Memang kita kena relate balik semua apa yang kita dah belajar. Selalunya dalam question dia sudah bagi dah. Okay, so, the degree of dissociation is used untuk cari kita punya concentration of product. Okay, again, remember yang acid dengan base, which one yang akan donate, which one yang akan accept. Okay. So, untuk question 9 dengan 10, pun sama juga, ada bagi degree of dissociation. But then, kali ni soalan dia lain sikit, dia minta pH dengan pOH. So, I assume you will have no problem with it. Okay, you should try yourself. Tahu kan, kita ada KA dengan KB. So, we have learned that there's actually KA dengan KB. A for acid, B for base. Okay, so kalau KA is high, PKA is low. Okay, so kenapa PKA is low? Sama jugalah sebab KA... Oops, sorry. Hmm. So, PKA, so maksud dia P... PKA is actually negative log KA. So, that's why lah bila contohnya KA ni high... PKA kita ni akan lose sebab negative log. So, sama lah case dengan relationship of our pH. So, bila KA is high, maksudnya concentration of H plus is high. So, that's why lah pH tu is low lah. Sebab lagi low, okay. The lower the acid, the lower the pH, the more acidic it is lah. Sebab if you look back pada yang nota, yang video yang Miss PH tu, Miss Zaki dah one by one kan. What's the value? Kalau concentration is high, berapa PH kita? Lepas tu, sebab bila kat sini lah, bila ingat, H plus is high, PH dia low. 
Okay, so kalau KB is high, so maksud dia concentration of OH dia buat tinggi, tapi pH dia lagi tinggi lah. Uh, okay, so kenapa? Sebab kalau pH tinggi, so maknanya the concentration of H plus is low. So, kat sini. Okay, so kalau OH plus dia tinggi, kenapa pH dia tu lagi tinggi? Okay, yang ni cerita balik sikit kan. Kalau H plus tinggi, pH low. Tapi ni OH tinggi, pH dia yang high. Sebab, okay, dalam kes ni pula kita tengok, okay. The higher the pH... The more basic it is ha, Sama lah sebab macam from our 1 until lah 14 So kalau contohnya Kalau strong acid mesti lain dekat area 1 So ni kira yang strong acid Kalau yang 14 ni is our strong base So itulah maksud dia Higher the pH the more acidic So yang ini dia Beza dia lain sikit dia bagi So, relate kan KA ni lah. Tapi KA dan KB ni, so paling penting kamu kena tahu OH plus dia tinggi, H plus pun tinggi. So, that's it. Tapi nantilah, misalkan buat sikit latihan. Ha, so, oops. So, sama lah juga dekat sini. So, dekat sini kita tengok, we have our carboxylic acid kan. So, kita ada PKA dia, negative 376. So, dia kata dekat sini, kalau PKA low, so maknanya pH dia akan jadi lagi low. So, um, lagi low. So, yang ni pH dia pun akan low. pH dia pun. Yang ini pH dia higher. Ni pH dia is lower. So, this is more acidic. Okay. So, kalau yang base ni pula. Okay. Tengok balik ni otak yang ni. If KB is high ataupun PKB is low. So, maknanya dia adalah more basic. Kalau PKB dia low. More basic, PKA low, more acid. So, dekat sini dia cakap PKB low lagi basic. So, PKB. PKB mana yang low? So, this one is PKB lower. So, ni PKB lower ni is more basic. So, sama lah. Ni PKA low lagi acidic. PKA B B lower. This is more basic. Okay. Ha, ini tak banyak pun tanya soalan pun. Sebab so, tu lah Miss Experience pun sikit je. Okay, that's it.